Hello there Carpologist, I'm Joe and today you join me at Lac de Tertre in Belgium and I'm actually meeting up with Frank Warwick. I got here yesterday, caught up with them all and apparently it's been a pretty slow session. A couple of fish here and there but nothing prolific but hopefully things will change soon because they've just changed their tactics. And more specifically, I'm looking at these, the Gravity XT rods. Now these are from Sonic and previously I brought you some rods from Sonic. They've been the Vader Xs and the Dominator Rex. Both have been top sellers and rightly so because they're a top quality product at a lower price bracket. I quite often get messages from people asking what should they look at with their price bracket and I send them to Sonic because for the price value you get it's pretty much second to none. With these they've stepped up a gear and uh, these are the Gravity X's, the top of the range ones that they're bringing out so a slightly higher price bracket I'll bring that to you slightly later but some of the features on here just make them a bigger all-round rod so cast far distances you can you can cast accurately but they're still a good play in action rod so uh, to give you a bit more of an idea of how these actually perform, I'm going to hand over to Frank, who's going to talk you through some of the cast capabilities because he can cast it far, far further than I can. And he's had a couple of fish already and hopefully going to have some while I'm here. But uh, I'm interested to see how these perform. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm fishing over in Belgium. I'm at uh, a water that's uh, it's quite a big water, actually, very deep. Uh, quite an interesting place, my first trip here. Uh, we got here and had a couple of fish first night, which was more luck than by judgment, to be fair. Anyway, on this trip, I'm using the new Gravity XT Sonic rod. And uh, first impressions are it's a very, very good casting rod. Uh, I've got the, uh, the version here with the Japanese shrink rubber, uh, anti-frap tip. It's got a parallel butt. Uh, on this instance, I'm using a uh, 15-pound mainline and a 45-pound leader, 4.5-ounce lead. And I've got to say, I'm very impressed. Uh, it's quite new to me, this rod, so I've got to use it for more time, really, but the first impressions are excellent. And uh, it's got a good feel to it. When you're casting, some rods automatically, instantly feel a bit sloppy or too stiff. But this has got a very good feel to it, so I'm, as I say, I'm very impressed and we'll see how it goes during this session. Hopefully we'll get some more fish. Uh, as I say, they've been coming out at night, so, you know, we might not be able to get action shots in the day, but yeah, great stuff, impressive. One other thing that I've been told with these rods, I must say I've found that before a go, is the, because of the design of the rod, they're, uh, they're very accurate, you know, they're not like a broomstick where you've not got any feel. I've been fishing at some various distances to markers and things and uh, using bags and uh, of course, you know, if, if an angler's a good caster and accurate, the rod, you know, is a secondary thing, but uh, so far they do seem very responsive and accurate when I'm casting to distant markers and uh, so that's not an issue and it does seem to live up to the, to the reputation that it's supposed to, you know, deliver. So there we are. Well, unfortunately, my time here in Belgium is coming to a close. I've got to head on fairly soon. And uh, the session's been pretty tough for Frank and his friends. Unfortunately, no fish while I've been here. He had a couple before I got here. So uh, taking his word for it, these rods play fish very nicely. So in my hand is the 13 foot, three and a half pound test screw rod. That's the same as what Frank's been using on this session. As you saw on the uh, first day, we did a bit of casting with it. Can absolutely blast them a long old way, but also cast very accurately. And that's all to do with the makeup of the rod. Now talking of the rod in more specific details, it's got a nano fiber resin throughout, which makes it very light, durable, and uh, just very strong. In my hand, you can barely feel it. For the fact that this is a 13 foot rod, you'd expect it to have a bit of weight behind it, but it's not, it's very lightweight. And that aids you with casting big distances. If you're whacking a lead out a long distance repeatedly, if you've got a heavy old kit, it's gonna tire you out. But uh, this keeps it nice and lightweight and accurate as well. The tip is a nanofiber sort of cross layer and that reduces the amount of twists in the cast. So if you're casting long distances, the last thing you want is for your rod to be sort of limiting your, your accuracy and your casting capabilities. Keeps it nice and rigid and straight to wherever you point that rod and, and cast that lead, that is the direction it's going. So it helps with long range casting, but also make sure you're nice and accurate in close range. And that's also to do with the 
the reverse spigot it's got. So instead of the, the standard where the uh, rods connect together, this is the opposite way around. So you've got a very, or a much stiffer butt section, but a more forgiving tip section. So not only does that help with accuracy and casting short range, it also means that when you're playing a fish, it's not like a broomstick. It's gonna be forgiving, especially when the lunging and the rod tip, you don't want that hook pull in there. It's got a nice forgiving tip, but a nice strength, uh, strong butt section. So you can really whack it out there, but you're not fishing with a broomstick. And some other features to pick up on, you've got 50 mil butt section reel, uh, ring, sorry, all the way through an anti-frap tip. So if you're whacking out long distances, you've got very, very minimal uh, line resistance going through the eyes and it's very limited. You're not gonna get any frap ups on the tip. The reel seat is an 18 millimeter Fuji DPS reel seat. So it'll fit all manner of different reel sizes. If you've got smaller reels or big reels, it's gonna fit in there. No need to change around your setup. Down to a, a custom collar on here, just a nice little grippy collar. And that also ties in with the uh, whippings below the eyes. Nice little flex of matte, matte uh, gloss on the whole rod, sorry, and then gloss on the guides. So it just makes it a really smart looking rod all round. Moving down, you've then got the Japanese shrink wrap handle. This seems to be the most popular at the moment. Nice grip to it, really sleek looking finish. It's gonna last a long time. It's not gonna fade like maybe some corks do or whatever. And a nice and comfortable grip, especially again, going back to casting big distances, you got a nice bit of grip there. And the very last part of the rod is the stainless steel butt cap with the Sonic logo etched into it. So stainless steel is gonna last years and years to come. It's gonna take a lot of beating and it's not gonna fade over time or get damaged. So it's a, a nice durable butt section as well. More information on these rods and the rest of the range, you've got the 10 foots all the way up to the 13 foot and the spotted marker as well. Please visit the Sonic website. So cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.